Folks, I just got back from a trip, and the state that I was in, and the state that I'm in now, actually tell you how their experience is going to be on the map. One, you start in, it's just okay, you know, an alright experience, not bad. Not, not the best, but I can enjoy myself. And then we get all the way back, and the other just makes you go, oh. I can only name one kind of like eh thing about Ohio, and that's the fact that it has like an 11.69 million population, which I mean, kinda, kinda cool, that's the, that's the sex number. But like, wh what is it even known for? Uh, <laughs> According to Google, Ohio is known for American football, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, being the birthplace of those boys that made the plane, a place where you can ride roller coasters, and that's about all I know about it, and corn. It's all corn. It's all corn. I don't have anything particularly binding myself to this state, other than the fact that it just won't let its grubby little hands off of me, and I can't escape from its clutches. To deal with the pain that has been caused by this state, I've led my life with a mild amount of danger and an intelligence stat set to the absolute lowest setting. And when I say I've lived my life this way, I mean I've lived the entirety of my life this way. When I was just a wee little lad, I took a little cheese block because I just wanted a bit of cheese, you know, I was a little cheese fiend. And my big old brain decided to grab a steak knife. And as I am cutting away at the block of cheese with a steak knife, I'm not looking directly at it, and I chop off a tiny the, the, the bit of my finger down to the bone uh and losing part of my nail and because i was a literal child and didn't know how to use a med kit i meandered my way along to a neighbor's house that i knew and had them fix it up uh just a quick knock 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 on their door and then it was like hey my finger looks terrible yeah mind helping me out with that i'm a child Though, I mean, it is kind of hard to live life that way as I do grow up, regrettably. So, as I've gotten older, my shenanigans have gotten... Not more responsible, but more disappointing. One night, while hanging out with a friend, uh, we managed to pick up a, a computer chair. Uh, because he needed a computer chair for gaming and didn't have a comfortable one at home. So we picked that up off the side of the road, it looked pretty good, and to be honest, it, it was pretty good. But we went to the skate park. Once we got to the skate park, my friend decided to ride his new computer chair down a ramp, and was perfectly fine. Uh, where it went sour is when I took an actual skateboard, and just completely biffed it on the way down hit my shoulder my hip my wrist and just weakly and defeated limped my way over to a bench and sat there for like an hour while i waited to finally heal to make my way home and that's why i do not skate in the dark anymore I always seem to manage to hurt myself in the dumbest ways possible, and not because it's like a stupid idea, but because I somehow have like the lowest amount of ability doing every single thing that I've ever done. At the end of my fourth grade year, I had asked the teacher that was in charge of the watermelon for field day if I could mayhaps pertain the last bit of watermelon along with my friend and it was successful 
which was cool, but we'd have to come back later. So we dipped and climbed onto this thing to chill until we had to go. And when we went to get off of it, my friend jumped off with perfect ease. And then I jumped off and managed to twist my ankle. I then limped my way to the school, refusing help from my friend out of shame, and obtained the watermelon. We both went home, parted ways, and I went to my door, and I went to twist the doorknob to get inside, and it was locked. And that meant I needed to call my mother because I was a wee little child who didn't have a key and wasn't supposed to be outside. I went to my friend's house, knocked on the door, and asked them to call my mom to have her come home from work. And I went back home and sat on the porch and started on my watermelon. When my mother came home upset, I was hurt and sticky covered with watermelon juice, and I went to bed quite happy. And uh, they are correct when they say ignorance is bliss, because my tiny little pea brain really didn't think that day much over. There wasn't really any point in me telling you these stories, but I suppose the moral lesson that I can provide to you is please just don't live in Ohio. And, uh... With that, uh, I hope you have a nice day.